Right, we're into the last few hours of this year's 2010 World Cup Classic. It's uh, been the most open competition that we've had before on this lake and uh, it's been great that a lot of the pegs that have never produced uh, in, in, this, in this event uh, have produced some great surprises. There's uh, fish to 20, over 27 kilos that have been caught. There have been over 60 carp that have been caught that are over 30 pounds. Quite amazing. And uh, we've still got the last night to go. So it's still a very much an open competition uh, and I think that's why the, all the competitors are still very much on, uh, on edge. Uh, there's sections to win, there's a, a huge amount of prizes to win and I think look, looking at where we go from here, 2010, we're going to be back at uh, Medine, we're going to be back running the World Cup Classic here and uh, I think it's a great venue to be running this sort of event from. I think particularly given that, that all the new pegs that uh, have been introduced for this year um, they've produced uh, some great fish as well and uh, the competitors have been happy with the pegging and that's always a, a big consideration. Using a venue of this size we, we, we need a good communication system and uh, thankfully Navicom uh, have been working with us and have been providing that so we're, we're communicating to, to different islands and different uh, locations and uh, thanks to the system we've had we've been able to get, uh, get the results in and uh, get ready for the prize, prize giving for tomorrow. So anyway, into the last few hours of this year's 2010 World Cup Classic. Let's see who's going to win. Uh, it's still very much open and up for grabs. Yeah, obviously last year was, uh, was very good and uh, I was uh, not thinking we could beat last year, but it looks like we're going to beat it. Uh, we had some big fish, uh, good average size of fish. I know last night we, uh, we had the biggest fish of the event so far, 27.4 kilo down at Berkeley section also had a 26 kilo and a 25 kilo plus uh, as well as 13 other fish over 40, 40 pound, 20 kilo. Um, I think up to date as we speak in at the moment we've had 143 carp, last year 159 so there's only 16 carp left which I'm sure we're going to do tonight to beat uh, the all time record. So it's been a, another fantastic event and some great fish caught all around the lake as well, not in just areas which uh, last two years we've known the producers. This, this year has seen other areas around the lake produce big fish as well so it's really opened the event up and uh, I'm sure it's going to make it a very interesting competition for uh, perhaps next year. Right, the, there's been a few uh, few yellow cards issued this year. Um, in terms of dealing with those and the competitors, uh, how, have, uh, how have you got on with them? Well, you know, it's a, it's a big competition with lots of competitors and as always there's always going to be issues mainly at the start and uh, you know the first first 24 hours there's going to be issues with distance anglers both going out in the boat etc not wearing life jackets um, so you know I've got my team of marshals around the lake they'll deal with it and if necessary I'll come on hand and deal with it as well so yeah we've had to issue a few yellow cards but uh, you know we want to make sure everybody fishes correctly and safely yeah, I think uh, from a safety point of view and uh, just looking at the, the weather conditions at the moment, we've got uh, the weather forecast has been kind to us. Uh, bad bad weather or good, good angling conditions during the course of the week and hopefully uh, what's the weather forecast for the next uh, next bit until the close? Well, it's looking, uh, looking pretty good. Like you said before, we had a, a nice sunny weekend last weekend and then we had some rough, windy, rainy weather which is obviously perfect for the fishing conditions. It's just settling down a bit now. Uh, nice and sunny, the winds are easing down. And unlike last year where we had a bit of a tricky get off getting everybody off when the winds picked up, tomorrow looks like it'll be dead, dead flat calm, nice and dry and sunny, so you know it should be a really great end of the competition. Great, well let's uh, get into the last, last night of the World Cup Classic 2010 and uh, see who's going to win it. Exactly, and who knows, there still could be uh, one or two surprises come out uh, and it'd be really great if we could beat the WCC record and even perhaps a 30 kilo. So yeah, one night to go and who knows. Great stuff. Well, let's